When you're recording a remote interview using Squadcast by Descript, it's going to look something like this. And thank you, Squadcast, for sponsoring today's video. To try Squadcast for free, sign up in the description below. So Laura does all of our content in Spanish, so this is actually the first time we're recording something in English. Give her a round of applause. And now let's schedule and record this interview. After you've created a Squadcast account, it's going to look something like this. In the top right-hand corner, click on New Session. You can immediately start a session, but I'm going to schedule a session. Give the session a name. Choose the date time and time zone, choose the recording format, video and audio or audio only. I'll turn on the beta feature to maximize recording quality. Then you can add up to 10 participants. You have two options. You can add them to the stage or backstage. If you're going to have several guests on at different times, for example, you could send them a backstage link. And then when you want to bring them on stage, the part that's going to be recorded, you can add them one at a time. I'll show you what I mean when I add Lauda, my business partner backstage in just a minute. When you have everything filled in here, click on send emails. You'll then be taken back to the dashboard. Now let me show you how to customize your show. If you haven't done so already, click on the gear icon here, give the show a name, add a description. Here's where you can add team members. There's three options here, show manager, talent, and file managers. If you're just getting started, don't worry about all the options down below, but you can change the real-time connection in the studio between these two settings. Turn max record quality on by default for all of your future recordings. Add a recording countdown. And further down, there are a ton of audio customizations. I'm just gonna leave these as default for now. If you made any changes, click on save in the top right-hand corner. When it's time to start the interview, go back to the dashboard and click on start session. You'll be taken to the green room to make sure everything is working properly. It's recommended that both you and your guests wear headphones to make sure there's not any echo. I'd actually let your guests know ahead of time to make sure they have headphones ready when it's time for the interview. Add your name, make sure the correct microphone, camera, and headphones are selected. If you wanna make sure everything is working properly, you can do a test recording. Testing, is this work? Okay, so I see the audio at the bottom. Now it's recording a clip of me talking right now. So if I wanna make sure that the camera, microphone, and my headphones are all working, this is what will help me figure it out. When you're ready, click join session. So if we walk through everything on screen, we have all the settings right here. So microphone, camera, headphones, maximum record quality, echo cancellation. If you're not using headphones, make sure to turn this on. It's just better to use headphones. If you're having any connectivity issues or maybe your computer's heating up and the fan's going really loud, what you could do is hide incoming video and hide yourself. Either one of those will just cut down on the stress of the computer and the internet connection. Don't worry, it's still gonna be recording everything just fine. It's just a matter of it sending and receiving less information if you turn those on. Recording format, the conference type, and if that's good, close that out. Here you can mute yourself, hide the camera. Here's where you start recording, share a screen. And then we have along the side, we have the participant. So it's just me on stage. The backstage is here. What we have over here is the recordings. When we have them, these are the participants and we have the chat right here. So we see now that Lauda's backstage. If we want to add her to the stage, you want to click on these three dots right here and then click on invite on the stage. Then you need to confirm the invitation. And then she's basically going to go through the same green room process to make sure camera, microphone, headphones, and all that are working well. And then she'll join me in just a second. Your guest receives an email that looks like this. They'll click on join the session and then it'll look like this on their end. They'll add their name and join the session. Well, hello. Thank you for joining. When your guest joins the stage, it's going to look something like this, but you're not yet recording. So whenever you're ready to start the interview, click on the record button down below. And then you can see I set up the three second timer. And now this is the beginning of my interview with Lauda. And so Laura, tell me a little bit about what you do to get ready to record an interview. I know a lot of people are always nervous before hitting the record button. What do you like to do to bring up your energy and be ready to present to everybody? I just like to listen music and start to dance and be a little goofy and then to, re to relax and then to start to record. And do you have a go-to song? What would you like to listen to or what do you usually listen to before you record? You know what I listen. What? Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys? Okay. <laughs> I was going to guess that or, or like reggaeton or Bad Bunny or something along those lines, but I wasn't quite sure. And what recommendations do you have for someone who wants to start a YouTube channel? Maybe just grab your phone, just play and start recording. That is the only thing we need to start a YouTube channel. Just record, edit, publish and go. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. What I end up doing is telling people to grab their phone, try to talk for a minute or two minutes and just holding out at arm's length and telling their story. Talk for a minute or two. When you're done with that, open up your favorite editing app, cut out the pauses, the mistakes, and just publish it. Once you have your first video on YouTube, you are now a YouTuber. And from there, you can learn to improve your videos. But the important thing is to start. Whenever you're done with the interview, just click on the stop button down below. 
The important thing to remind your guest is to wait for the interview to upload before they close their browser. So you can continue to have a conversation here, say goodbye, talk about whatever you wanted to do, or they could leave and do something else. But you basically want to wait, sure, wait until everything's done. And you can see here successfully uploaded the recordings. You can probably see here, we went through a couple of takes of this. Yes, everybody messes up. And that's the magic of editing that everything can be perfected there. So. Laura, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll talk to you soon. If you're really ambitious and you want to start editing the interview immediately after recording, you can do that from this screen. If you go over the local recordings, mouse over the take that you want, and then click on edit and descript. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break before I edit this episode. And so all I'm going to do is leave this session and go back to the dashboard. On your Squadcast dashboard, along the right-hand side, you'll see your recent recordings. Select the recording you want to edit, then select the individual files you want to edit. And then along the bottom of the screen, you'll see workflow and then click on edit and descript. If you want to edit both the audio and video, click edit all MP4. You'll see audio plus video below that. Then create a project in descript with the two video files. Give the project a name. You'll see it'll transcribe the dialogue of you and your guests. The first thing I'll do is add scenes by active speaker. So that way, depending on who's speaking, that's whose video is going to show up. In, uh, my interview with Lauda. As you saw when I hit play, Lauda's video is one that was being shown the whole time. So regardless of who's talking. So what I'm gonna do now is change it to add scenes by active speaker. So we're actually gonna record the very beginning. So when I'm speaking, I'll be on screen. And when she's speaking, you'll see her. I'm gonna rename track one to JJ, my initials. One of the great things with a script, I can edit the video just by editing the transcript. Let me show you what I mean. Interview and I forget my lines. Okay, so this part, when I forget my lines, I want to get rid of. So if I just delete this and we're gonna play again. Into the interview. When you're recording a remote interview using- So you can see here, you can go through the entire transcript and just cut out the parts that you don't want just by deleting the words and then the video will update accordingly. One thing I noticed here is I said Laura, which is the Spanish pronunciation for Laura, and that's what it transcribed it as. So if there's anything like this you see in the transcript, it could be a name, like also Squadcast down below. What you wanna do here is click on the little arrow next to find, and then you can see correct transcript. Correct transcript, what I wanna do is find it. So louder, correct with Laura. Okay, so that's fixed. If you or your guests use a lot of filler words, you can actually remove them automatically using Descript. Let me show you how. So you want to click on actions, then remove filler words. Then right now, the default is all filler words. If you want to see what those actually are, you have repeated words, um, like, so, uh, but you know, hmm, I guess. Some of these may be a little bit more subjective, but I would say repeated words, um, like, so, uh, we can get rid of all of them. So I'm just going to leave it as selected all. And then if we want to just see where some of them are, they'll be highlighted in the transcript right there to get rid of them, remove all gone. If there are any long silences in your video and you want to cut those out, you can do that as well by clicking on actions. And then right here you see shorten word gaps. So right now it's set for silences of three seconds or more, and we can shorten those down to just one second. Let's do that for all six of them that are in this video. Shorten all and there we go. I think I'm good now with editing the transcript. Let's move on and check out some of the other features. Up above right here, you have media. So you have videos, GIFs, images, and audio you can add. Here's where you can add text. You can create titles or caption the video. When you're editing the text along the right-hand side, there's a bunch of options here. You can choose the font, the size, the style, the alignment, and a bunch of other things. So for shapes, there's a bunch of options to add shapes. One of the things I like here is the waveform. So if we add a waveform to the video, and then we let it play, of this video, and then we'll get into you can see how that's going to how the waveform will move as I'm talking throughout the video. If you want to show both you and your guests at the same time, you can go into templates and then choose multicam and then choose the layout that you want. Then along the right hand side, you have a bunch of other adjustments you can make. Add a background. Under effects, you can make color adjustments by changing the exposure, contrasts, highlights, shadows, saturation, and color temperature. You can also add blur, film grain, pixelate, and zoom blur. Here's all the options available for transitions. Along the bottom, you can view the video timeline and make additional edits here. I'm just scratching the surface with all the things you can do here in Descript to quickly edit your recording. If you're done editing, click on publish. Then you can publish with a web link directly to YouTube, to Buzzsprout, and a bunch of other podcasts and video players. Or you can download the video to your computer by clicking download right here. If you're just getting started with video podcasting, watch the video along the side here where I walk you through step-by-step -step how to create your video podcast. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.